Hey, what's going on guys? So I mentioned in a previous video that I was gonna do an overnight red velvet oatmeal recipe for you, and I got really good responses. And this one is all from scratch, so there's no you know, red velvet cake mixes, there's no red velvet protein powder, because me personally, when I buy protein powder, I'm gonna buy either like chocolate, vanilla, or cinnamon, just because it's pretty versatile and I can use it for a lot of things. If I buy something like red velvet protein powder, I'm kind of limited to what I can make. So, all from scratch. Hopefully you guys try it out, and if you do, let me know and we'll get into this video. All right guys, so the recipe is pretty easy, not that many ingredients, and do not be afraid of the red beets that you're gonna add. The red beets are what cause the color and the flavor of red velvet cake, so obviously we're gonna use it for building this from scratch. I just took a can, I threw it in a food processor. I bought this Ninja for I think 20 bucks at Walmart and it was honestly one of the best investments I've made for all the cooking recipes I make. After blending it for a little bit, add a quarter cup of almond milk, you can use regular milk, you probably even use water, just to get a very even consistency. Then you're gonna add one cup of oats, a little bit of sweetener, I use two packets of Splenda, but that's optional. Two servings of a fat-free, sugar-free chocolate jello pudding mix, that is a mouthful. You could also use the cheesecake flavor as well. And then one serving or five grams of an unsweetened cocoa and one scoop of protein powder. I'm using vanilla in this case, but you could also use chocolate, which would replace the cocoa. And 60 grams of that beet mixture, which is just the beets and almond milk mixed up in a very even consistency. One serving or 15 grams of chocolate chips. And then another quarter cup of almond milk or regular milk, whatever you want to use. Your preference, mix it up so that it's all mixed evenly, and then throw it in the fridge overnight. If you're not gonna throw it in the fridge overnight, do it at least for, I'd say, two or three hours until those oats soak up the liquid and the jello can form. Macros on this recipe are 14 grams of fat, 88 grams of carbs, and 41 grams of protein, and optional, but I did it, top it with some powdered sugar.